Hello everyone, this is Latia for you coming today with another prophetic dream video. Let's go ahead and pray and we can get started. Dear Lord Jesus, thank you for this beautiful, beautiful dream. I thank you for your love for us and reassuring those of us who are watching for your coming. We know that you are oh so near and you are so worthy to be praised. We give you all the glory, honor, and praise in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. All right, so the Lord told me to go and tell this very, very vivid dream. Um, when I have vivid dreams, it's just such a great thing. I don't know, just to see something that looks so HD and in detail. I love dreams like that and so this was definitely one of them so I tried to animate it the best that I could sorry for all the clip art photo but this is this was a very vivid dream and I wanted to relay exactly what I saw so first um in the dream I was standing outside of the house this is not my house so I was standing outside of the house and I was we were in the driveway and we were about to go get into the car and so all of a sudden there was this huge hawk in the air he was humongous and he was flying over our house kind of making this like swooping action like this and so we all saw it and we were like oh my gosh look at this hawk my husband saw it everybody saw it and so um then all of a sudden the hawk he didn't see us and he landed on the ground and so we were just I, I ran over um I felt like it was my husband too doing what I was doing but I tried to kind of sneak up behind him he was looking into my garage like looking in as if he was going to go inside of my garage he was kind of creeping back and forth and he never saw me I was kind of standing off behind him and he creeped by my garage and then he went inside and so I wanted to lure him back out because I didn't want him to like get anything inside of my garage I don't know what it was but um yeah I, I was like looking to try to um, sneak up on him to see what he was doing in my garage and so I moved closer and I stretched my arms out like a bird I don't know why I did this I guess because um you know like when they say you see a bear you make yourself bigger and so for some reason I stretched my arms out like a bird and tried to uh like kind of mimic a bird a hawk and so I kept flapping my hands back and forth doing like that and so um he came back out and he kind of scared me and like I didn't know what to do because he saw me and then he took off flying and he flew back into the air and he turned around and you guys like he was peering over me like this looking straight down at me it was like really kind of intimidating and kind of scary I felt like it was like a fear of the Lord scary not scary like a monster or anything but scary like I am so sorry because like I was flapping my arms at him and I felt like when he turned around to look at me it was kind of a disrespectful motion that I had done towards him or something I don't know. I just felt like even that little motion, I shouldn't have done that. Like, and he was just peering down at me, just staring down at me. Like he was going to get me next. And he was come. he was about to dive down. And I woke up from the dream and I knew immediately what this dream was about. This is definitely like a rapture dream. And so I wanted to go over it really quick, exactly what it was that happened. Okay. So this part where we were going outside and we were um, going to go get into the car is just about us occupying until he comes, making sure we're always being watchful. But at the same time, we need to go on living. We need to go on doing the things that we need to do, but with discernment from the Holy Spirit. We need to be led by the Spirit every single day, watching for the Lord, but continuing to live on. Like if the Holy Spirit tells you to do something, do it. It's not a, oh well Jesus is coming so I don't have to do that no if the Holy Spirit is leading and guiding you that's that's an everyday thing he leads us and guides us into all truth and that is what we need to be doing on a daily basis so that is what the first part of the dream was about was that I was 
occupying until he came. Like I, we were all going to go get in the car. We were living our daily lives, but being led by the spirit and always watching. So the fact that we saw the bird, but the bird didn't see us has a lot to do with um, Jesus is coming at like a thief in the night. So we need to be watching for him at all times. We saw the bird. So, and that's a good thing. We need to always be looking for his return. We saw him, he was swooping. It's kind of like the um the town crier crying out um, just before the groomsman comes. So that swooping action, we were watching for the season. We we're watching for the return. So he came in and that's his like warning. Hey, I'm flying around. This is the season. This is the time. We saw it happening. We saw it coming. Then all of a sudden he landed. You want to not him to not see you. You want to see him, right? You need to be watching for him. He doesn't, he doesn't need to be watching for, you need to watch for him, right? Because he's coming as a thief in the night, except for those who are walking in the light, according to Second Thessalonians. So for those who are walking in the light, you're going to be watching for Christ. He will not come like a thief in the night for you. Just like he was hunting and he was looking inside my garage and went inside my garage. If we were in the house and not looking, then we wouldn't have expected him, but he was coming in and we were expecting him. So me going um, back and forth um, or stretching out my arms is just mimicking him walking in the light. Hey, looking like Christ. Do we look like him? Do we act like him? Are we, you know, doing the things that he would do? So um, the, I was stretching out my arms, but even still, I felt like, hey, this is in the end. I ended up feeling like that. This is a holy and reverent, you know, God, even that was like a move of, you know, kind of like when Isaiah was in God's presence and he felt like his mouth was unclean. And that's kind of how I felt when he came back and he was looking down at me, peering down at me. It was almost like the fear of the Lord came on me. Like even the movement that I made wasn't good enough. It was nothing would have been good enough for him. So when he flew back into the air, that was just a, a, a movement of, hey, yes, you're watching for me and now it's your turn. I'm here to get you. You know, the Bible talks about where the body is, that eagles will be also, um, that the uh, uh, a hawk is a hunting bird, a, a bird of prey. So um, uh, so is an eagle and a vulture. Um, if you look at those translations, those are birds of prey. So they are the birds that are always looking down to the ground and watching for the prey but if it, it where the body is the eagles will be also that is us meeting him in the air that's what the the scripture talks about so yeah when he was peering down at me and he was looking as if he was just going to come and get me next that was just talking about the return of the lord he is near he is coming down to get us and the surprising thing is and i've seen this now again i've seen the um hawk again um when I was troubled at night the other night actually um I asked the Lord about something and he showed me the hawk and so I just know he he is in this he is watching us he's watching over us and he is about to come swoop in and um you know I don't know the day or the hour you guys but it is upon us it is approaching so keep watching, keep occupying until he comes, right? It's not an excuse to stop living. It's an excuse to live for the Lord. It's an excuse to walk for the Lord and walk in the light. We should always be watching for his coming, living in the light. Amen. All right, let's go ahead and pray. Dear Lord Jesus, thank you for this wonderful and very vivid and clear dream. You are amazing. You are awesome. We thank you for just loving on us and telling us that you are near. We give you all praise and glory and honor in your mighty son, Jesus name we pray. Amen. If there's anyone out there who would like to receive Jesus as your savior and Lord, just pray this prayer with me, but more than saying the words, believe them with all your heart and confess them with your mouth. Dear Lord Jesus, we thank you so much for this day. I ask you to come into my heart. I make you my Lord and Savior. Jesus, forgive me for all my sins. I've led myself for long enough. I'm asking you to lead me. Sit on the throne of my heart. I make you my Lord and Savior. 
I believe you died on the cross and I believe you rose again on the third day. You are my Lord Jesus. In your son Jesus name, Lord. Amen. All right. If you have prayed that prayer and believe that prayer, then you are a child of God and the Holy Spirit has entered you and sealed you until the day of redemption. That Holy Spirit seal can only be broken by Jesus himself when he comes to redeem his church. So when he does that, he's going to take us away, take us to heaven. But until then, the Holy Spirit is in you already, ready to transform you. He's He's already making that quick work of transformation. Some things take time, but some things are a quick work. So the Holy Spirit is in you. You need to learn to listen to him and let him guide you into all truth. That means he's going to help you with all your decision making, including what job to go to, what person to marry or where to get a job, all of those things. The Holy Spirit is in you. He is with you and he is guiding you. So let him guide you and lead you. Um, one of the best ways to learn the voice of the Holy Spirit is to sit down and read his word contemplate on his word, talk to him, ask him questions about his word, and then learn to how to be quiet and listen. And you will learn to hear the voice of the Lord. So it is a, such a blessing. And you should also go out and, and be baptized in the name of Jesus, as well as find a church home because Jesus wanted us to not forsake those things. He wants us to come together with other believers so that we can be sharpened in his word, which is being sharpened in him because he is his word. All right, you guys, I hope you all are doing well. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May he make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you and give you his children his peace. Take care.